everybody it's tuesday and we have our new weekly show tutorial weekly uh shows for you all your questions and answers about any of your favorite management games or any other games because you know, on other games i might have but definitely definitely remember to leave a comment with any questions you have and i'll start throwing up twitter polls so if you want follow the twitter so you can vote on the topic for the next week if not, then I'll have to figure out topic next week anyway. But let's just jump right in. We're, today we're going over the brand new Anor Spreader. And how's that going to work? We have no idea. Well, I've played with it, but we have no idea on potential builds. We're going to test out old builds, new builds, Reddit builds. <laughs> See which one's the most efficient. I have no idea, so let's... This... Ask in the fact that we're gonna solve this problem one day. Hopefully tonight. <laughs> the uh, the manure spreader has two modes: a low efficiency mode that goes everywhere, like you can cover like ten plantations, I think, and a super double efficiency mode that only covers like anything around its general area. So I have some ideas on what to do. Oh gosh. We are back, Tropicans. No Presidente needs to figure out where to move to. This is the... S I'm not gonna lie, this is the same map I on my test build. Only difference is, this island right here, on my test build's over here. <laughs> they literally just moved it over one. I know, because yeah. that ancient ruin's up in the corner over there. And this rock's down here, which is gonna be problematic. Alright, let's first we'll move El Presidente's shack up here. There we go. Oh god, what did I build? I don't need a warehouse. Alright, a dock is cut up. So we're gonna test out the Norse Spreader. Right now. So this is the default game setup. It gives regeneration to soil degradation. Beautiful the monoculture. Great soil, but it uses manure. Better with manure, manure. Lovingly, every ranch that you own, if it's set to pasture prohibition, will generate manure. Where they get it from? But here's mode one. The second mode is like super tiny. I mean, super tiny. Let, let's uh, actually get some stuff up. Plantation. Build some. Do everybody's usual because everybody's like Meta's. Sugar plantation. Archipelago view. Plot down here. So go down here. So build one we're gonna test with. Just gonna do sugar plantations right. Now. Covering all three. And a couple cow ranches up here. Assessment. And that'll be our first set to test. We're gonna stick with uh, sugar plantations. Yes, we have a baseline. Actually, better yet, we're gonna save it right here. Make a save right here so the sugar plantations will always be in the exact same spot. And we'll just meddle with the, uh, the placements of everything. That's the static one right there. Okay. And so we don't go broke. Let's just build a uh, lum distillery right here. And oh, look, lo and behold, that's where we're making our money in uh, colonial times anyway. 
Let's go ahead and start building everything. Teamster sure office. Maybe we can keep that up and running. Right now, once we see all these plantation notes, check their defaults. So that's 93. That's 90. We still need to be. That one being done. Master Prohibition. Master Prohibition. Both are not at 75% plus. More, Governor. More. Good. Yeah, I'm right. But hey, thank you. Corruption thank you. It's so already like building that. that we have to... <laughs> I'm building a rum distillery just as he asked me. Well, you. you did the right thing. Thank you. Mandate. All right. So this one's a 91%. So right now, I don't think we have any manure here yet. So yeah. Where did, how did, how are you at 101%? How did you exceed the value? I don't. I have no idea. Okay, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Fertility negative ten. Oh, oh. El Presidente visited them and they got an extra ten percent. That's what happened. El Presidente visited. Yeah, if El Presidente visits a place, uh, they get they immediately get a bonus to production. More, Governor. More. Always more. Yeah, I like how you also just pay money to uh, get your own self to visit. Yeah, I know. So, this one's dropped down, so that's back at the... Yeah, it's lost the other bonus. So now we can start factoring. That's down 1%. Actually, all of these have dropped about 10%, because this was 90+. plus. But Menor's activated now, so let's see how fast that works. It seems we have a bad... I must say, I'm glad to be... 88. So yeah, that is a huge bump. Have they dropped the manure yet? No, it's still a negative 12. So we're, we've been losing a lot of fertility. This building. So this one is being worked. Let that run for a bit while I uh, check our team. Here. Yeah, they're doing well. Let the pen. Add some homes down here. Okay. So that keeps that up and running. Means I can relocate this second team. Okay, so we got right here. Pirates are attacking already. God. budget so everybody works there please somebody show up to work we defend this place before that plantation gets attacked yes just like the fox says don't forget to ask any questions as you read them yo guys we've been attacked thank you please save our plantation please god save the sugar yes we're the last one. Something does not feel. Okay. Check these. These guys regenerating yet? They're still at negative. This one's at negative ten, so that probably got a manure delivery. But you, you're negative twelve still. Hackers have been defeated. Build you back. Thank you. Your fertility just got reset because I rebuilt you. That's hilarious. That's 88, 90, 90, 87, 90, and 90. More spreader. So the manure spreader kind of slow. It's nice to have.
to increase the stock of manure they have and give them 15 job quality. I feel like it's moving up any. This one moved up. Oh, next, no, this one went up one. This one went up one. That one's still static. Oh, that's been dead down one. That's negative 13, that's negative 10. Yeah, because the fertility rates are negative 10 in this area right now. I mean, granted, this is missing two spaces. So I can factor that in. This one's going up, that one's going up. Okay, so it's basically every few months ago. I went up again. So. In other words, every month goes up. Oh, this was a negative seven. Okay, it's been one month. That one's back to negative ten. That one's at negative seven, and this one's a negative seven. That's another month's gone by. And this, we have to remember, is we're all in mediums. The mediums are doing great. Okay, so that is... Well, medium is you mean the, uh, how much medium budgets. Yeah, medium budgets. And they're almost... Yeah, they're, they're at 90 plus with this build. Okay. So we're at fi the five year. And this is the... Yeah, this is the control. One manure spreader, two ranches to supply the spreader, and three uh, plantations. That's 93, that's 90. Okay, so I think we have the, the basis 10, 7, 7 in this area. So I think we have the basis for that, so let's try the next build I was thinking. So this next build is going to be a little bit different. I want to see if I can maximize it temporarily. Where as they get built immediately, I'm setting them to multiculture and waiting for the manure spreader to max out and start spreading before I drop it back to monoculture. That way we get zero Soil degradation. That's the next plan, please. So same idea, same layout, just doing it as mono as uh, multiculture. Multiculture first. Because the uh, monoculture oh. does do the soil degradation. On the yeah, before. That even finishes building. Actually, start at lower soil levels too. These are multiculture. Fifty-three, forty-six, forty-nine. More governor, more. Got our spreader. Oh, we got these two guys making manure. I ask myself, go. I'm distillery, and you wanted a tannery, huh? All right, I'll build a tannery right here. Um, and y'all want a chapel? Y'all might have to work for your chapel because I think I can't afford a chapel right now. Nope, I can't. Check door. Door is filling. Need to be at four. Get over seventy-five percent. These have garbage. Holy, yeah, yeah. All right. So these have went up already. So let's switch this back to monoculture. So that's at ninety-three, ninety, ninety-two. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Run this for a few minutes and 
get. Rum's trending down, which is bad. That's no good. Yeah, but 91, 89. So this one went down still, but it's probably because the manure's not spreading out quick enough. It which is seems okay. We have a bad case of the shakes. Earthquake. That's at 103. Did El Presidente visit? Yeah, El Presidente visited. I was like, how is El, El <laughs> how is that one? El Presidente just stopped visiting. And that just means uh, we got some money protection. No, he's not, because I'm looking at the base uh, fertility number. But this is at negative 8. This is at negative 11. This is probably negative 9. So it seems that whatever building across the street from the plantation, what plantation's across the street from it, seems to be the one that hurts the most. I must say, I'm glad. Yeah. It, it seems like the one in front of it is getting shafted. Viva la revolution. This one got the negative 10. This one... Oh, jeez. What happened here? Did El Presidente visit? Yeah. Yeah, that was a negative 12, and this one's a uh, negative 9. Something does not feel quite... Okay, so... Uh, that went a little fast. Would you do that again? Uh... Yeah, basically negative 8 for the top one. Negative seven now. The middle one is negative ten. It's consistently negative ten, and negative eleven in the middle. The bottom one is negative seven. So basically, yeah, it's basically the same. Even if we wait, it balances out eventually to the full okay. negative ten. So waiting doesn't matter. It probably save you some efficiency. But Governor, the thinking about it, excuse me, you're running at negative 40 efficiency to begin with, so that actually hurts waiting. So it's better not to wait at all. So at least we know that. So waiting optional. <laughs> Going to multiculture waiting. It's essentially, yeah, it's bad. So now we're going to do the other build. The uh, are you a psychopath build? And I say, yes, I am. I can confirm this. We're going to overlap. We're going to run the... Well, actually, no, we're not the, doing the Psychopath build yet. The next one is the double up build, where I have two manure spreaders doing double duty. In theory, that should do more work. Yes, in theory, that should be able to Double up everything you need. More spreader. It's pretty more caca all over the place. Yep, pretty much. From distillery. Fill up the rest of these. Put my second manure spreader out yet? Yeah, I did. Okay. Now I was just putting homes in. Okay, so is the manure for an actual building? Yes. Um, it's this building right here. Um, it provides default 20 job quality. Costs 300 build. Requires three uneducated. Distributes manure across plantations and ranches in its area of effect to uh, counteract soil degradation. Manure is produced on ranches from pasture prohibition mode. Pasture prohibition is what exactly? It uh, lowers the quality but makes it where uh, soil degradation should not happen in the pastures. Okay. It's the same like multiculture but it doesn't boost each other around.
get a little money. Six more people. From Excuse me, Earl Sport. I oh, thank, thank you, man. He asked for the rum distillery when the building was half built. <laughs> Governor, the people have a request. That was I must close. Say, I'm glad. <laughs> I will take it though. What's always frustrating is when you build the rum distillery and it's like, hey, I want you to build another rum distillery. Yeah, I know. Right as you build it. Yeah, pastoral prohibition is this ranch does not decrease the fertility in its vicinity. It decreases efficiency 15%, though, but gains a stock of manure. Yeah, but honestly, you don't get that much from animal products. Don't. These ranches are here just to make manure now. Well, crocodiles make a lot in the uh, colonial era. Oh, Excuse me, Elmsport. Let's, let's I need a yeah, teeny, I know. tiny fit. But, you like, know, me meat and milk and wool don't make as much until you get them in textile and canner yeah and but it's good but it still makes you a little bit and you have preset plantations and stuff and ranches yeah for the next era oh, so it's yeah. good to build them but but yeah crocodiles make you so much money because it's like four thousand per thou thousand <laughs> well, yeah, and then leather. yeah I and then Then you can give chain mail gloves, increase their work of life. It seems I mean, weak. Uh, so, you think that it's still valuable. Good quality leather today still yeah. costs money. That's a El Presidente Vizzi, I'm guessing, yep. That's a negative 10, that's negative 7. I'm just gonna build you up. Thank you. Negative seven. Negative ten. Negative seven. Are both guys are... operating? Yes. They are both up and running. I must say, I'm. Just some guy making sure. Yeah, they're they're both up. They both have one guy in each, so that's going to be a factor that we can look into. But I have teamsters like going everywhere to grab them. El Presidente came here recently. So it's negative seven, negative ten, negative ten still. Okay. But actually, I know I know what's I know why this one's being negative ten though. It's missing two blocks. Actually no, it's missing three blocks. Yeah it is. So that should be part of the calculations, but yeah, so it's still looks like Negative seven seems to be the highest it can push. So you're going to be at at least negative more. seven, so even more. with two. Something does not. It doesn't even do anything because it splits the workforce in half. Yeah. All right, well, psycho build this time. But it's actually going to be very dangerous what I'm about to do because I'm pretty sure it's going to fail horrendously. Well, that's what this is for, man. Pass or fail. Testing. <laughs> testing, testing, testing. That's all we can do. But, yeah, the next build is going to be... I'm going to have to make more ranches to compensate, though. That's the problem. I need, yeah. I need to build another ranch, but I'm getting rid of a plantation for that ranch. So, so we'll it bounces out. With, uh, three ranches. No, I'm going to get rid of this middle plant. Yeah, get rid of the one that always, always has the name of the ranch. Because that manure spreader. Then... Oh, man. Put a manure spreader right next to this entrance. I'm trying to move this across the street. Because it should still be in range.
another ranch. Get another ranch dressing right there. And from distillery to keep myself paid. Portions. No, they'll they'll rebuild. Rebuild. No, I asked you to take out like a section of the farm on the side. Yeah, look how much this loses. Concentrated spray. <laughs> it's nice to have <laughs> choices, dining. isn't it? I'm good, I'm building their rum distillery just then and there too. Well, concentrated spray corruption is so right, Governor, that we have. Yeah, but it uses it, it's 200% strength, but at 200% manure usage too. I must say, I'm glad to be still. Basically, you're just double upping oh, your efforts. Okay. Reduce the area effect by 30%, but regeneration and manure consumption is up 200%. It means it really doesn't change. Nah, not. This is 91. This is 91. I know that middle one's always going to be messed over, so numbers don't matter there. But if this does not go beyond 93%, then it's, we don't, it's just pointless to have the double. Because you can just run one at normal speed. If this, if this can't go over, then it's just pointless. Excuse me, Elmsport. I need a team. Yeah, uh, which values are you curious about? Well, the efficiency of the workers, if uh, that was increased to the... Yeah. You know, the wage increased to the max, that could also change how the outcome... Yeah. It is, but... That is a big factor. We are paying these guys more to just try to bump this up some percentile. Yeah. And really, it's just gonna... Just increase the speed they walk across the street. That's pretty much it. Really, the only thing I don't really expect to see, though, is an increase and all of a sudden, you know, the farm going... It's gaining for time, but that shouldn't happen. Well, it's supposed to gain... Uh, yeah, it's supposed to regenerate soil degradation, so... Fertility should remain it should growing. Go, it, should, it should stay somewhere in the negative, is what I'm saying. I don't think it should go past... Up to like yeah, the yeah, no, I don't think it's going to go... Past 100 until you get those bonuses later. Yeah. That's why I haven't updated this one because this one would give a 10% to this guy. So, I'd like oh. to see the. Uh, I'd like to see what a. I'd like to see the effect on a uh, modern farm. A. Uh, a modern farm. A modern farm, or you know, uh, damn it, one of those. The hydroponics plants. Hydroponic plant, yeah, hydroponics. I don't know, though, this thing work with it? I think it's just for plantation. Uh, yeah, it might be for modern plant. It might be modern plantation, you check it out as well. Because modern plantation is different than a. No, it just says across plantations and ranches, so I don't know. It might be future crafted, too. Does not feel quite right, Governor. I mean, I'm we can sure. test that eventually when I uh, ever make a playthrough where I'm at modern era again. Yeah, but you know. That's just something to look into. Like so, even at 200%. Alright, let's try your theory. It's not passing 7, so I'm maxing the budget on both manure spreaders. To see if they can even push that further. But I don't I mean, think we're, they're going to get anywhere beyond 93%. Unless I we get bonuses. I mean, I'm not yeah, I know. Lie. Especially when that's sure. default because I can increase the efficiency by giving them raises, but why do I need one if they're already above 75%? Right. 75% seems to be like the key point. There you go, I got my thing. So I must say, I'm glad. To I mean, pretty much. Their but that doesn't change. It change. I mean, yeah, this is still not going to beat the uh, multiculture. 
Because multiculture is insane on its own. It's a plus 40 to everything. But it's compact. Well, so depending on if you get a small map, I'd say go with the old multiculture build. But if you get like a left landmass, do this. But really, right now, I'm. I've basically just been running a rum distillery and two sugar plantations to fill it. And I made like 2,000. And I haven't even run employee of the month. Like, my freaking Teamsters can't even carry enough to get them out. So. Yeah, no, no. You probably, because you haven't increased their pay yet either. Yeah, I know. I don't need to when they've made two grand of these without. It's <laughs> nice so. to have choices, isn't it? A choice. Uh, that's all that. That's all the people are doing on this island too, which is. I know. It's just making rum. Not a lot of employment. Like, I think eventually I'm gonna try like doing a specialization build where maybe colonial area be rum distilleries and maybe boys and planks, and then once we go into World War era, we start building like. Anything that you can build with natural resources. So anything that uses mines and stuff, like weapons, um, jewelry, and all that such, uh, I'm going to avoid. Because those aren't renewable resources. But we can do it oh, with okay. renewable resources. And see if we can just do a build of specializations with renewable resources. But I think we're going to call it a session early. Um, it looks like we looked into every topic we could when it comes to these, and it's you're not getting beyond 93% fer fertility. So that might <laughs> be a soft, that might be a hard lock on that, that. That's a hard lock, and then beyond that, it's just El President Day visits, World Wars agriculture uh, subsidies, which is humongous. And the only other thing you do is and then the other farm, buffs. Increase the farmer uh, farm product. Farm yeah, and and uh, wages. Uh, but that's but just that's not gonna, gonna increase how much the farm produces, not how fertile the soil is. Yeah. But it just increases their speed. It's that that's not the issue. It's the uh, can we maximize the speed? And right now we've maximized the speed beyond what it can be. Yeah, and I, if it's taking ninety uh, ninety three percent. Okay, Dull degradation's no longer a problem. So if ninety three percent is gonna beat multicultures default. 80%. We, we did learn one important thing, though. If you are missing tiles... Yeah, you will lose you will it. Get less. And, the, less the and the multiculture build, since it, it gives a plus 80 back, well, plus 40, because lose 40 and gain 10, but it can max out at 80. So you're gaining 40. That makes up for it, but yeah, you lose efficiency flat out from tile loss. I am curious Factor. about another thing, though, too. Uh-huh. The default build? Yes. You know the default plantation build with the ranch in the center and then a manure spreader somewhere on the outside you know on the max spread yeah um that might bump it a might little not do much. Why not? it still might not do much we could approach that as another topic later uh multi-culture versus better. monoculture builds but definitely um so definitely guys remember to comment any uh, questions you have about tropical Six, any other strategy games that i've covered or maybe a game you don't know about and i can look into i have it i will give a demonstration if not i might just reply to your comment and uh any interesting topics i'll probably throw up in the twitter poll if i find any so remember to uh, follow the twitter in the description uh find out what the poll is and i'll see you guys next week